Yo guys, welcome back to the vlog. So today I'm testing the Fujifilm X-H1 um, in a photo shoot. So today will be only about photos because this camera still is very buggy in video mode. So I'm only concentrating on stills today. So I brought another beautiful model right here and another one right there, which you will see later on. And yeah, let's get this started. I placed the model in the middle of the street to get a nice and blurry background. When I shoot wide open with the 56mm 1.2, we also had luck with the weather, it was cloudy and the exposure was very nice. This was Katerina's first shoot ever and I basically told her to just be herself, cause I didn't know her, I also didn't know how she would react in front of the camera. So I decided to let her move and pose first without me saying much. After a couple of minutes, when I got a feeling for her, I tried to give her more instructions to get the shot I want. Basic instructions like turn your body slightly, bring your head to the shoulder, play with your hair and so on. So, um, kind of my first impressions are that this camera is kind of a little bit faster than the XC2. Also, when you shoot in continuous mode, you don't have black frames anymore, which is awesome. Also, the grip is improved, so the camera is a little bit bigger than the XC2. Then we moved on for our shoot to a bridge. The downside was lots of people crossing your way, which always interrupts the shoot and also the flow. But on the other hand, you have the possibility for a chance of wind and a little bit of wind makes everything more moody. Also the photos which you have seen throughout the video have been edited with Lightroom. I'm really looking forward to test the video features a little bit more and hopefully we will get an update pretty soon. That's mainly why I bought it, of the video features, like for photos. Like I said, it isn't much different. Um, if you like what you've seen, um, please subscribe if you have any thoughts, questions or other things let me know in the comment section below thank you